You want to get into hot tent camping, but you don't want to drop a ton of money on a hot tent. I've got a budget hot tent that's going to be perfect for you. What's going on? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today, we're going to take a first look at the fire hiking hot tent. Now, this is a budget hot tent that comes in, as of the date of recording, less than $100. So it's definitely a budget-friendly option that you might want to consider. So this is the fire hiking hot tent. And this tent comes in at a weight of 3.48 pounds on my scale at home. Although the manufacturer states that it's 3.5 pounds. It came in a little lighter on my scale. This is a traditional teepee style tent that is held up by the use of an aluminum pole in the center. Now, when you first unpack your fire hiking hot tents, this is what you're gonna see. This is the main body of the tent here. So this tent is a single wall tent, meaning that there's no mesh inner and there's no rain fly. Just this one piece of fabric here, which constitutes the tent. The other contents of the tent include an aluminum center pole as well as 13 stakes and six guy ropes. Now the kind of fun thing about this tent is that it does come with this bonus backpacking pillow. This is an inflatable pillow but this actually wasn't listed in the product description and comes as kind of a bonus with the hot tent. These are the stakes that come with the fire hiking hot tents. And I must say for the price, these are pretty decent stakes. Each one of them comes with a paracord loop attachment affixed right to them. And they're made out of aluminum. And you'll notice they have a nice triangular design, almost with a spiral type tip here, so that it's gonna go in the ground and it's gonna stay there against the wind. The fire hiking hot tent is made out of some pretty premium fabrics for a budget hot tent. The body of the hot tent is made out of a 66D polyurethane fabric with a hydrostatic head rating of 3000 millimeters, meaning that this puppy is going to keep the rain out. All of the seams are fully seam tape and this baby is not gonna leak. So let's talk about one of the really exciting features about this budget hot tent, and that is the stove jack. It has a Velcro stove jack flap. Pop that open and then roll it. It's got some handy dandy tea ties. And this is a superior quality stove jack. The stove jack material is made out of Aramid. And Aramid has a lot of military and aerospace applications, which makes it extremely resistant to heat, making it an ideal material for use as a stove jack. The other nice thing about it is that unlike having a fiberglass stove jack, you're not gonna be full of fiberglass splinters if you happen to brush up against this. So that's really, really nice. The stove jack is nine and a half by nine and a half inches and will accommodate a stove pipe up to three and a half inches in diameter. We also have a really nice heat resistant material on the inside of the stove jack. This stove jack is removable, just like so. So if you have a pipe that is smaller than three and a half inches in diameter, like myself, I have a two and a half inch stove pipe. I use the Winterwell Nomad. I could replace this stove jack if I wanted to and cut a stove jack pipe opening to fit the specifications of the pipe for my stove. I don't think I'm going to do that for this hot tent. I will post a link in the description below where you can pick up a stove jack that will fit this hot tent for around 10 bucks. It's pretty much the cheapest one that I've been able to find. So I'll put that in the description below. But generally, unless you're getting like a torrential downpour, having a little bit of space around the stove jack opening isn't a big deal because even if a little bit of water drips down or a little bit of rain comes in you have your hot tent stove running it's going to just dry it up anyways so i'm not really too worried about it but for those of you who are just know that there is a ten dollar workaround for this if you do happen to have a smaller stove pipe opening so just like with any tp tent you're going to want to stake this out before you attempt to put the center pole in and this is the center pole. Now this tent in its peak is five foot two inches. So don't expect to stand up inside of it. 
but this pole snaps together super, super easy with these shot corded sections that just pop in really easy. I'll just go ahead and pop it up. The next thing we're going to take a look at is the vent. So this vent has a little metal sty in it that connects with Velcro to keep that vent open. Now there is also a plastic rib inside of here to keep the shape of that vent, which means that this vent is more likely to stay open during heavy downpours and heavy snowfall with the addition of this rib. So I really like that. Now, if you do want to close the vent, you do have to exit the tent. There's no way to close it from the interior. But even when you take this little sty out, this vent doesn't really collapse. You can see it kind of pops right back out, which isn't a big deal, at least for me, because You've got the stove running on the inside. You're going to want to allow some of that heat to be able to escape and you're going to want to have airflow inside the tent to avoid condensation at night. So I am glad that we have this plastic rib here because so many tents that I've seen in the past have just this sty that when it starts to rain, the rain comes down, pops that sty and then the whole vent just kind of lays flat. You don't get any airflow. So I do like that we have that little plastic rib that keeps this guy open. The next thing that we're going to talk about is this little loop right here. And the purpose of this loop is designed for you to be able to pass a ridge line between two trees and suspend this tent on a ridge line. And that's a perfectly fine application as long as you're not running a wood stove. Do not use this loop if you're running a hot tent stove. I cannot stress that enough. If your ridge line happens to break or if the sewing on this loop happens to fail, your entire tent is going to come crashing down on top of you and you could be burned alive. These ridge lines on these TP tents are only designed to be used without the hot tent stove. So if you're not using the stove, use the ridge line to your heart's content. But if you are using the stove, go ahead and just bring along that aluminum pole and pop that guy up for some extra support because you don't want to take any risks when you're out there. Let's go inside this thing and check it out. I've heard that there's seam tape. All of these seams are completely seam taped. All the connectors. And even up at the very top, we've got seam tape up there. That's the little vent. At the top of the peak, you can see the center pole there, and that is the vent. And that's about the only ventilation in this tent. You do have some ventilation around the bottom of the tent, but if you were getting some wind, you could always pile some snow around the bottom of that tent. Otherwise, that works great as ventilation in those shoulder seasons. So let's talk about the stove jack placement in this tent. There's a couple things I really like about it and one big thing that I don't like about it. The first is that it's near the door, which you're typically not going to be sleeping, so it allows you to use the space beside the stove to stack up wood, keep your axe or your maul or any other wood supplies that you're going to need to keep your stove running. And from that perspective, it opens up a lot of the rest of the hot tent where you can have a person sleeping along the back wall another person sleeping along this wall. The problem that I have is the placement of the stove jack in relation to the door. So imagine that you are running your hot tent stove, which is going to be right here, and it's cold outside. It's burning hot and you have to leave your tent to go get more wood or go take care of your business or whatever the situation may be. You have to reach all the way down here for that zipper, which means that you have to get uncomfortably close to that stove in order to access the zipper in order to be able to leave. Now, a couple of workarounds for this, instead of orienting your stove this direction, 
could have the pipe and have the stove oriented towards the back, which would decrease the footprint of the stove. But it would have been nice to see this stove jack placement on this side of the tent. That way you can easily get over here, open the door. You just have to make sure that the flap wouldn't flap back, but you could open it up, roll it up, and wouldn't have to worry about coming into contact with the stove. So for future models, that is something that I would like fire hiking to address because I don't like having to get really close to my stove in order to be able to get in and get out of the tent. So what's the verdict? What is the rating of the fire hiking budget hot tent? This tent had a lot of features that I really liked and the quality for the price really astounded me. So for that reason, it gets big points. I would have to give this tent a 4.5 out of five crow rating. The best things about this tent are the stove jack. The stove jack is just exceptional quality. And at this price point, having a hot tent that actually comes with a stove jack so that it's ready to go right out of the box is huge. The other thing that I really like is the material that the tent is made out of. I love that the company incorporated a ripstop design into the tent body because we all know, even though we're careful, eventually a burning ember or some type of burning material is going to escape the spark arrestor and could burn a small hole in the hot tent. It's happened to all of us. So it's nice to know with a ripstop material that that hole is not going to spread throughout the trip before you get home and have a chance to patch it. So that really gives me peace of mind. The one thing I really didn't like about this tent was the stove jack placement in relation to the zipper. I'm just not wild about having to get that close to the stove to crawl in and out of the tent. Like I said before, I wish they would have put the stove jack on the other side of the door, but that's a small detail and entering and exiting the tent can be done safely. You just have to pay mind to the stove and just be careful. But I think it's a great budget hot tent, especially if you're just looking to getting into hot tenting for the first time. You don't want to drop a ton of money. This tent's great at the time of filming, 83 bucks and change. This tent is ready to go. But if you guys are looking for a big, huge, luxurious hot tent, then go ahead and click on the video and check out my review of the Lux Hercules, which is my primary hot tenting tent. Until next time, folks, we'll see you on the trail.